start off by saying thank you to everyone who um, viewed and commented and um, liked the last video, the beauty over for beauty over forty collab finale. Um, I just want to say I sincerely appreciate. It. I see some of you guys went over to some of the other channels, and I'm sure they appreciate it. So I'm saying thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and today. We're just going to have some makeup fun. Uh, I don't know how many of you all have tried Violet Boss. Um, this is like about the Like a Boss palette. We are definitely um, going to give this a run through and picked up um, a sample of the Cover FX Power Play. I picked up shade in 90 just so you'll see. I don't have the full tube just yet. And remember I mentioned the other day I wanted to let you all see the 24-hour liquid liner by Smashbox. You guys, I have really been loving this liner. And believe it or not, somebody gave me a lot of the Derma Blend powder to play. It's in this cover FX because it was in another container and I dumped it in here. So we're really going to give the Derma Blend a whirl before it goes on sale at Ulta to see if I want to kind of... Um, pick it up and add it as a powder because I heard it was really really good. So it is the white one <clears throat> Can you guys see that? It's a lot of powder to play with so we're gonna give that a, a Run through today and I think that's it. So we're gonna come up with a really pretty look quick pretty look Oh, let me show y'all. Dang, I ain't even show y'all the palette. So this is the palette palette. I have used this already and I'm still trying to debate um if I like it or not, um, yeah, we still, I, I, I think I like it. Um, it's for chock full of neutrals and some greens and a couple of golds and some bronzy shades. So yeah, I'm still trying to, um, see how I feel about it. But yeah, we're going to take this for a whirl today and, uh, let's just see what we can come up with. shade I'm going to pick up is Hustle and I'm actually going to use that. It's like a peachy type shade. I'm going to use that in my brow bone just to see. You guys know I've been loving that orange soda shade from uh, the glam, the soft glam palette to use in my, to kind of set my brow bone. I think this one may be okay as well. Yeah, Just a little bit. All right. Let's go in with this fear shade. I might do something a little bit different. Oh, y'all didn't even tell me I didn't have my tape down. So, yeah, let's go in with that. Um, it's WCW. It's the shade. What did I call it? Fierce. It's really WC. Woman Crush Wednesday, I think, is the name of it. I'm just going to lightly feather that through right underneath our brow bone shade. Does have a little bit of a kickback, but so far, uh, I do like this palette. I think I just got a See if I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with um I think motivate. It's like this grayish tone. Let's see what that looks like in the oh okay. Yeah. The direction I was gonna go in, I might might have to change it. I think I'm going to use this shade Adulting or Maze Balls. We'll see in just a second. Let me finish getting this built up right here. Motivate. It's like a little grayish, taupeish shade. So next time I'm going to pick up Inspo, which is the black shade. And I'm gonna create a little bit of a V. When I say I'm not gonna go any further than what's here, and then we're gonna blend this out. I 
gonna get your little V created and lay it down. And then we're gonna blend it out. Oh yeah, it's gonna. So get your V created. Make sure it's like a little V. And then we're gonna pick up a blending brush. It's more like packing it on. And then pick up uh, something like your MAC 217 little brush. This one is old. I didn't really need a new one. <laughs> Do not check me. I need a new one. Take your time. This might take a minute. Just to keep this kind of soft, just go back in with your Motivate shade and just kind of make sure you to blend out the edge of that and just bring it back over like you did before. Like we did before. Just gonna try to keep that kinda not so black. Just, I like the gray smoky of it. Okay. No. Even the smoke right here close to the lash line. Let's go in with the smart AF color. Ooh, okay. And we're gonna blend it back towards um, I'm not wetting my brush. I'm just laying this down and putting it back towards the outer part of our eye. Okay. the same thing to the other side okay flipping that same brush over we are going to pick up the shade extra to finish out the uh, other half of the eye these are really really creamy out Okay. Once again, I did not wet the brush. But, um, yeah. It's blending in good with each other. Pretty. Okay. Pretty good. Alrighty. Get some of that uh, gray, just blending that top part out. Y'all have to forgive my little eyelids. We've been irritated here. I've been rubbing them to death. <laughs> so that's why it looks a little flaky over here. Um, yeah, because I've been rubbing my eyes to death. Because my allergies and stuff have been on like a thousand. But yeah, I like that. Okay. All we right. will come back to the bottom of the eyes later. We're going to go in with my new favorite. I'm telling you guys, I really like this uh, eyeliner. Because once you lay it down, it does not move. Go in the store and swatch it. And leave it out. And try to rub it off. Not happening, Captain. Just cannot talk during this part. I'm so sorry. Okay. Here they go, making me think I can do a wing. <laughs> So we're getting ready to do the foundation. Um, I went in with my usual um, mattifying primer, the, bo the, the Pore Professional Matte Rescue from Benefit. Works well for me. 
Um, and then I went in with the Tarte um, High Performance Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer um, to smooth out my pores. Okay, I know. I know all about Tarte. Um, and, but I already had that product. And uh, yeah, it's one of my favorites. I'm going in with the Ultra. I went in with the Ultra HD. Um, this is uh, R50. This is the correcting one. So yeah, everything has been laid down. And I just used my Sigma F87 to get that blended on nice and smooth to cover up my hyperpigmentation. So to be fair to the foundation. Okay. Now I'm just going to use my finger to dab it on. And then I'm going to use my Sonia Kashuk Beauty Sponge to get it blended out. It's enough in here for me to do at least two days, maybe even three of uh, wear, but we gonna check back in today. Let's see how this uh, blends so far. It's a good uh, color match. I'm in 90. Yeah, okay. Get that blended out. And uh, yeah, we're gonna wear this today. It is a little bit after 12. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see how this does. It's supposed to be a modern matte formula. Uh, transfer proof. It had a lot of claims. Um, I will put the claims on the side so you guys can see what they are. With all waterproof, transfer proof, some, some, a whole bunch of proofs. <laughs> um, and since I don't have the actual box, I will have to just pull it from Cover FX's website, which is fine. Because I would definitely want to try it out before I bought another foundation. I think I'm a foundation hoarder. Powder hoarder. Eyeshadow hoarder. Oh, but the finish. And with my Sonya Kashuk. I told y'all the bottom of this thing does wonders with foundations. Okay, we have um, all of our creams down and we are going to go in with the Derma Blend to set underneath our eye. It has a funny smell to it. <laughs> like a powder smell though. Do you bake with Derma Blend? We gonna see today. I just have tart shape taped down as my concealer. They don't have my shade and makeup revolution at the store. And I think it's sold out online. So I have to resort to what I have to resort to. Yeah, I do like the um, makeup revolution for daily, but they are totally out. I've been to three of the three ultras there. I think three. You know what? I forgot to check the one down is down that's not too far from here. Um okay Dharma. See you. We're gonna we press that in and then we'll move on to um setting the rest of our face and then we'll be back. For final okay look. you all this is the final look for me today. I am gonna do a wear test on this because I'm just curious to see how it does. It's so pretty. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera, but yeah, it's just, it's a really pretty foundation. So yeah, I just want to see what it does in the Derma Blend, of course, because that's, un that's what's underneath my eyes with the Tarte shape. So, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, lips really quickly. It's just that Christine, Kristen Leanne lipstick in the color Cloud 9. Cute little packaging. Just the color I have. Uh, so yeah, we will check back in in a little bit, see how our face is looking. Uh, hopefully we'll not, we are not a greasy monkey. Um, but yeah, so this is my first time wearing it. Um, I'm really kind of liking the finish of it all. Y'all know what I, I gotta sit. And I do sit my face. This is the Kat Von D one. So yeah. We will let that um, soak in and then we will check back in, okay? Hold tight. Hey guys, I'm here work, wrapping up. And I just want to say that this foundation has got so, so well. 
yeah, I'm not really oily. That's really the light on my nose. Not like it. So it's almost seven. So it's almost seven hours of this foundation going on. Yeah, I'm not mad at it. It's, the ink is held up somewhere. And this lipstick did too. And I had ate everything. Okay. Maybe I'll check you a final check in at home. Mm.